Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video today. Uh, based on the request that you guys been putting through that you want to clean up and re reuse your old power unit or how you can change the fan or maintenance or anything like that. So these are really expensive power units um, but sometimes they get really dusty or the fan starts making noise or you just want to open it up and do a really nice cleaning inside. So that's why I'm going to make this video for you guys to show you guys what's inside this unit and why you should open it and how you should open it and what precautions you should take before opening these ones. Remember these ones are the really high power unit so they do have a capacitors to hold a really big charge in them for a long time. So we're gonna, you should follow this video step by step. Do not skip. If you wanna st skip the video parts, then don't watch it and do this at your own risk. I would not recommend you guys to do this if you guys eh, don't know anything about electronics or powers or anything like that. So I'm doing this to show you guys what's inside. I'm not encouraging you guys to open it or you should not open it. You can just blow air through here and clean it up. This video is for the people that actually know a little bit of electronics and know how to follow instructions. All right. Let's say that you got a power unit and if you want to change the fan to a Noctua fan so we get more silence fan or you want to replace the fan or you want to clean the insides. So the tools that you're going to be needing is a screwdriver set. I use the iFixit screwdriver set as they have all the bits that you need to do all the services that you want to do for laptops, for power units or whatever you want. The bits are really tough and bit, they are S2 class steel. After that, you will need a workshop towel I'll leave, the link, I'll leave the link for all this in my video description in case you want to grab it. So grab one of these, grab an alcohol, isopropolic alcohol or isopropolic alcohol, whatever you want to call it, 95% plus. All right. With all this said, first thing first, before we turn it off, you're going to discharge the capacitors as much as we can, simply by shorting few uh, connectors. Let's say, let me get the screwdriver. So we're gonna grab a screwdriver. I have this one over here. So we're gonna shorten up the pins in there. All these three pins, short them together. Make sure it's in an on switch. All right, once you shorten it up, or if your power unit has a green cable in the middle, you can see the green pin. Short the green pin towards the black pin on cable beside it. If your power supply is traditional power supply like this one, to shorten it out, you can do it in here. So you want to grab the 24 pin and you want to grab a tweezer and you want to shorten the green one with the black one beside it. So you stick it right there, hold it for a few seconds and it's going to discharge the power unit. So if you have a modular one, and uh, this is the way that you should do it at the back. It's the mid cable right where the jack hook goes between that one and the second last one on the left side. So, see if you can see it. Shorten these two. All right, once we did that, now we have discharged the power unit. We're gonna put it a fan side up and we're gonna remove the four screws on the corner, the label on the warranty. So we're gonna grab the, the bit number two. These are hexagon pins, the bit. So we're gonna remove the screws. Once you remove those screws, we're going to flip it to the side. Two more screws on each side. All right. Once you remove this one, put it in normal position. Remove the top layer that comes with the fan. Just pull it up. Bring it to one side. And there's your fan with a sensor right there. This is a heat sensor that goes through the jack right there. To unhook the fan, just pull up this cable upward. And for the sensor, it's the same thing. Remove this silicone over on top. They melt some silicone right here to prevent the jack from falling down. So let's leave this to one side and work on here. So this is your fan. If you want to remove the fan from here, remove this screw and this screw right here. This is the shield to do an airflow. 
but the fan is being held down to the case by these four screws which is number three 2.5 the fan does come out with the grill so you want to remove the fan put the grill back on the way it's supposed to be now you can get yourself uh, another uh, fan if you want this is a 12 volt 0.3 uh, amp is a model d12 bh-12 you can get a knock 12 model version which is much more quieter than this one make sure it has to be a four pin connector has to have a four pin connector you can remove the sensor from here it's just taped it it's taped around here and put it beside the other one and again this one you can remove from here and with two screws put it on the new fan and bring it on align it i'm just going to align it on top of the fan first just make sure the orientation of the fan and to the case it's the same now down here we got the power unit this is the big capacitor that it holds a lot of charge this one holds around 420 volt which is a humongous load so this is like a even three phase unit and there's your motherboard the connectors and you shouldn't touch this one the component power regulators and controller board all those things in here and it has a transistors and pretty much that's it a big coil a transformer down there and there's not much more here it's just pretty much big unit now you can take it outside with a compressed air you can just clean it up and that's it pretty much i will not suggest you to touch inside of this one there's no more charge because we already discharged it but just keep it like that you can touch this board here there's low voltage in here there's nothing to kill you or anything like that and i can see they do have a protection on the uh, power jack right here so if there's a a surge protection pretty much they have a varistor this is called a varistor they protect the voltage all right to put the fan back together just grab it grab the sensor jack goes in only one way in plug that one in there you can melt some silicone right on top if you want or glue and connect the jack it only goes in one way and bring the cover over and bring it down and sit it right on the casing and that's it make sure it goes the hooks goes under and all those screw holes are visible and the last thing would be to just grab the bottom screw the cover screw from external and just put it back on together I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out to do your own cleaning or fan changing for your power unit. If you did like it, please click the like button. If you want to subscribe to the channel, I'll greatly appreciate it. It will be a great support. If you have any question or requests, please feel free to leave them in a video description. And as always, I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just going to finish up putting up the screws on here.